Hello. So today we have another special episode. This episode is a conversation with Max Perkins and Alex Nelson, two good friends of mine based out of New York. I met Max uh, many years ago when we were both studying together at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. We were in the composition program there. And uh, I met Alex through Max, who is a writer and art curator hosting an online um, hosting an online platform for artists to submit their work. I've included links below to for both of them, so if you're interested, you can find out more about them. Uh, this conversation is a little bit less structured than some of the previous than some of the previous videos I've made, but I think it's sort of interesting in its lack of structure because it sort of goes all over the place and tackles some interesting ideas in sort of non-linear ways. So I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Music in Mind with Anthony Calkins. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to this fucking book. I don't even like the book. I fucking hate his writing. Look at this book. It's written like a book. People like his writing. People follow his people writing. People view him like goddamn Jesus in the goddamn fucking literary community. I don't know anything about Ernest Hemingway, to be perfectly honest. He was the, like, the, he, I mean, was around just like with F. Scott Lucero in like, the 1920s. Did a lot of like, he was in the military and like wrote a lot of his stuff about that. Because mm -hmm. it was the Spanish American War. I'm almost positive. That's the war he was in? Yeah. Almost I did positive. not know. That's, that's like 1890s, right? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know he was that old. Yeah, no, and then like he like met up with everyone in like the 1920s in Paris. So he was older in the 1920s. He wasn't like... Yeah, like Scott Fitzgerald like looked up to him. And, like, Got it, like, okay, all right, like, that's what, all right, that was what confused me. Got it. I'm almost positive about that one. Um, See, it's when it comes to like, I, I might be bullshitting about some of my like literary knowledge because it's not like super, super like, Detailed. You have another Ernest Hemingway there too. And it's a short stories because I wanted to try and read them yeah. because I. You do have a thing with authors where when you don't like their novel writing, you do like like Kurt Vonnegut. You like yeah, I love their short stories. You like, don't like Kurt Vonnegut's novel. No, interesting. I the short hate stories. Five. Yes, five, five. Five. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, is cool. I didn't. Is that? <laughs> But um, they made like six of them. <laughs> <laughs> but they should have stopped after five, man. <laughs> there's a book that um, it's Armageddon in retrospect. It's just to the left. It's great. It's on the far left of the second really shelf great. on the right. Yeah. Um, it's so after he died, his son like made a collection of all the works that he thought best. I have them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. beautifully written. Yeah. Beautifully put together. Like oh, wonderful. But uh, yeah, and same with like Ernest Hemingway. I've read one or two of his short stories, mm -hmm. they are much better. He's just, the way that he writes is so fucking just like, you know, you just want to kill yourself by the end of it because it's so drawn out when it comes to like very long stuff. Yeah. But when he has a shorter time span, it like almost fits perfectly how he writes. Yeah. Hmm. How do you feel about Ray Bradbury? Ray? That's fair. Yeah. What would you want? I don't know if oh. I've actually ever read that book. I know a bit. I know. I tried to read it in high school because I had to, but most books, pre like a few years ago, if I read it, if I said I read it, it meant like I read like a few chapters yeah. and then yeah. hated it and stopped reading because I hated reading for like the longest time until Do you watch until it? Nelson gave me probably the first thing you gave me. Oh, well, Fight Club. Oh yeah, that's the book. That's Fight Club. Yeah. Mm. That Fight Club is. got me into reading. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of books that I've lied about reading. To be fair though, what I always felt bad about my reading until I realized how much more music I've read than most people. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think people count that as much as they do yeah. like written words. Like, I, I think, think that's the symphony of the score or something. Yeah. Like a thing earlier where like he was talking like I talked about writing and he asked the question like words. And I was like, oh shit, that's funny because like you don't like you write music. Like it's still yeah. writing. Like, it it's is still written. Literally, it's still like that's not can I go back to your language thing too about like music being its own language and you can write in music but <clears throat> yeah no definitely and like and it's it, it just it can be that's what that's what drew me to reading words was that I realized it was the exact same thing as reading notes 
and like there's a form, there's shit that comes back, there's interesting technique, there's like there's a style, there's yeah. there's like everything that you can see on like that page you can see on well this is a textbook so that's different, but you can see on that page. What would be a textbook for music? Like the Hannon? Oh, interesting. Yeah, is that the piano virtuoso? Uh, like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that probably is. Yeah, that definitely is. Or honestly, I, I still would say that this is a music tech. Like, what? I, <laughs> I mean, yeah. This is a music textbook. I don't mean use textbook. Music textbook. Textbook. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm gonna go to the back now. Take the take the phone. <laughs> Max just believe. once again this goddamn. <laughs> I he use things so differently than everyone else. No one can use a book like me. I'm just throwing them like footballs over here. Yeah. Everyone's just reading them. Yeah. So no, but what I would say is because like you have you have no time. Again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a great time with it. They'll see it. That's, That's a great show. That's a great show. Laughter is infectious. Um, <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is like there's actual notes on this on these pages too, just as much as there is words, and the notes are just as if not more important. Than the words, um, so I would think I would still I would say like Hannon is like the exact like textbook of that. Yeah. Whereas like you need to be able to play the Hannon really in order to be able to play this the right. way you should be able to. Hannon is like a grammar textbook. Or something. Yeah. Yes, and this is like a philosophical textbook maybe. Um, what is that book? It is. Orchestration scores and scoring by I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this dude's name, but he clear Donald J. Rosher is how I would say that. And chapter six is Zanakis. Wait, what? Zanakis? Is that what it says? No notation. Oh, that is interesting. That is, does look very much like a Z, though. I, I didn't really. See, I could only sort of see it, and I was like, Why are they going heavy right yeah. away? <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. I don't think this is. I don't know when this was written. Um, definitely a long time ago. Okay. Sixties. Um, 1962 was when the preface was written in New York, and he teaches at or taught at. I'm assuming taught at uh, Manhattan School of Music. Okay. So what is the game? What's so the game? So okay, book. yeah. So the game is we picked a book from our like honestly shockingly cool library. I didn't think we were gonna have this cool library when we decided to do this. I'm grabbing another book then. It's just way too. Yeah, I don't, and I think to set the parameters of the game, I don't yeah. think there's a limit to the amount of things you can grab. If you if you say something and a book comes to mind, uh -huh. bring it up. You have to say you have to say the name of the author, the name of the book, and the year that it was published. Uh oh. Why? Well, what if you have an idea and you don't remember? No, that's okay. But I mean, if you grab the actual it was book, thirty-four fifty. <laughs> Dude, that's a fucking Bible. That was though. used like a used book. You can tell this is like a, something you would write in. I got this on the street hey, for free. Hey, hey. Just because I can. For this just because I can do this. This is fucking funny. Um. <laughs> you know, Nelson, you can keep your uh, Ernest Hemingway Bible because. I'd rather have Jesus. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna put it on? Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's, uh, all right. Just because I did that, I'm gonna have to put it on. Now. Yeah. Uh, I really. This could be. Just this might full be. We have to edit everything. Just full, because, yeah. <laughs> full disclosure. I don't know what the fuck this sounds like. It's, it's Iris. Wild episode. <laughs> it's <laughs> Iris. Some do, out there unfortunate stuff. Or some really great. Good. Great stuff. I See, I love that. I really know. No, so to, to preface this, <laughs> to, to preface this, I and the reason I was so stoked about getting this is Nelson and I have a very like funny history when it comes to religion and like talking about religion and cool. we do have a religious section in our uh, we do have a religious our, section in our bookshelf. We Where have is it? The teachings of Buddha and the Holy Bible. And the Holy Bible. Yeah, I'm not seeing it though. Wait, 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 wait. The teachings of Buddha and the Holy Bible is one book. No, they are no. separate. Uh, we have a small section. It's not book. a book called The Teachings of Buddha and the Holy Bible. That is Bible. an interesting no. book. Interesting book for It'd probably sure. be the same book on both ends. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, that's uh, our religion section we have in here. Oh, uh, this is sound and sound. But yeah, I, uh, I grew up in a Buddhist household. Oh, wow, cool. I'd rather have Jesus. Yeah, my so that was <laughs> perfect timing. Um, if you think about it, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> that, was, 
That was really funny, but that was super unintentional. I was just reading something at a very opportune comment. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's the serendipity. It, it, I, I mean, it's the truth of the word right there, right? Isn't that testament? And I mentioned it. <laughs> no, what's oh, up? Isn't God. that testament? It's, it's right there. Oh, shit. Hold up. Else, I mean, you gotta get past. You gotta be religious to like, really. Of course. Yeah. It's on high. I mean, you, you heard it coming a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> so the beautiful numbers Mrs. Dunahy sings. I'm assuming she's Irish. Let's just give that the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. Iris Dunahy. I'm not Duhaney. Yeah. Iris Duhaney. Iris Dunahy. I'm not Irish. I don't know, but. Most Irish would rather have Jesus in my personal opinion, or my experience. The beautiful numbers Mrs. Duhaney or Dunahy. Probably Dunahy. I like it. I hope it says or. <laughs> <laughs> you pick. <laughs> I'm not picky about my name. <laughs> Sings on this album will bring to your heart and mind. Oh wow, a huge typo. This brings me to my first problem that I have. And I fucking hate typos. I do. I really do. I really, <laughs> really. really I mean, no one likes typos, but if you have a huge amount I'm of sorry. Text, this I mean, that's not a huge amount of text. If you have a huge amount of text. <laughs> I mean, you got like 200 words, yeah, you got to get them all right. But like, when you have like, you know, 10,000, and you have one little like mistake, I, I let that one go. I understand. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> Starting to have to yell now. <laughs> She's like, hey, God, listen. I'd rather have Jesus. You'd rather have Jesus right now. Quit your conversation. Yeah, 10,000 words. So, and the one thing I think about, so if you look at a skyscraper, how many mistakes are there? Probably a good Ooh, amount, actually. Thousands. There have to be. Like Ooh, misaligned nails, bricks, there's art. There has to be thousands. I would love to ask James that question. Or like any of our engineers. I mean, not even just a sky. This building, it probably has tons of air. <laughs> Have you seen our curb? Well, <laughs> literally, there are like you're sitting on like we are on a you're right yeah, now. We, yeah. yeah, no, this many, many a mistake. Yeah, but <laughs> many a mistake. But uh, yeah, no, no, but when you have 200 words, I mean, you gotta get them all right. But if you have a huge, thick amount of like text or even just like music or like all this shit, you're gonna make a mistake every now and then just not catch it and people are going to keep because your brain does like yeah. it's we, it's fine like, sees what but, it wants like, to but, but my my problem with a mistake like this what, is, what is there the like, we haven't gotten to sorry the so is. the mistake is what it should say is mrs duhaney dunahy sings on this <laughs> album <laughs> sorry i'm just gonna read the whole sentence the beautiful numbers mrs dunahy sings on this album will bring to your heart and mine like mine, not mine. mind, uh -huh. heart and mind. So they there's an E instead yeah. of a D. Not bring to your heart and mine. It could be your heart and mine. No, a mine and mine. Your heart and mine. A personal feeling. Is it there could a comma? be. No, it's not. No, dude, it's 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 a horribly written sentence. If that's the case. But it could it could be. Either I'm Either I'm, missing a I am way better with it being a typo than it, than them We're writing a fucking D. sentence like that D because and that's D. more unforgivable. <laughs> Unforgive. That's amazing. It, See, this is what happens when someone catches a typo. Is it's just like this person is an idiot. <laughs> I this is a like, it's, how many fucking typos have you made in your life, Max? <laughs> a lot. And I've been an idiot. And I've paid dearly for a lot of them. Fucking paid dearly. Yeah. And I've lost thousands of dollars. <laughs> All my respect in the garbage. <laughs> my life is over. <laughs> So shambles. <laughs> Pure shambles. Cut. So here Max goes again. Put <laughs> <laughs> you over there, you get to your FaceTime camera. I just can't say anything. You know, every time I say one thing, they just have to just... I you get the fucking grammar points over here. I feel like it makes it funnier because of what the album is, though. I agree. <laughs> it's a really weird no, sentence. No, and, I, and, I, and I, do, I will explain, like, my frustration with it. Mm -hmm. Well, A, it goes back pretty deep. I, I have a really bad history or I have a bad like introduction to writing words and it's, it's not bad because it made me a good writer but both of my parents were lawyers ah. so anytime I had a paper to write it was getting proofread and it was not only getting proofread it was getting like utterly destroyed yeah. mm -hmm. 
Like what? Not, and it wasn't. I wasn't being sweared at, but like. I, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> are you? Where is this comedy? Get out of my office right now! And don't come back until it's fucking perfect. No, you say I mean, mine instead of mind? <laughs> fucking idiot! Get out of here! So there is some like shit that yeah. comes along with like yeah, yeah. proofreading that it is like a it's an aggressive thing. Mm -hmm. And if you're not aggressive about it, you're gonna miss something like that because yeah. like that is such an easy miss. Like yeah. I will give you that. That is an easy fucking miss. But so there are so many. Ch there should be ten people that read this before yeah. you spend. Ten to be a small number. <laughs> sure, exactly. <laughs> there should be at least ten. Definite, depending on how yeah. what your budget is. But yeah. like you should be giving this to your mom. You should be giving this saying, to your you neighbor. Got a lot of people, yeah. like, especially because of the topic. Also, <laughs> first of all, the content it yeah. makes it really important. If you do not capitalize an L, or church or if whatever. you don't capitalize an <laughs> L and everyone? Lord, or capitalize all of the letters G O D and God, but make O and D a smaller font size. Oof. Like go home. I'm you got your. You're in the is that wrong what you line. Do? Yeah. It's capital G, capital O, capital D, but smaller. Sometimes yeah. Lord is all capital. Too. Sometimes Lord is all capital. Actually, Lord I, may all be capital. Jesus, Jesus is that though. Jesus is not. Jesus isn't written any differently other than but it's capital Jesus J. Jesus is Lord. And the Holy Spirit. It's a Trinity thing. It's, it's very. It's very scientific. I'm not going to it right now. <laughs> Long story short. <laughs> Long story short, I was raised very Catholic. I, this is we're coming full circle uh, now. Okay. Nelson was raised Buddhist. Okay. And neither of us are. Well, I won't spek for him, but neither of us are like. Oh, okay. But I will speak for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. But you can just shut the fuck up right now. I'm talk. Neither. I'm only doing this because we've had a lot of conversations about this. But neither of us are like would say that we're like he's not Buddhist. I'm not Catholic. Like, but those like. Teachings and like that culture and like shaped how we yeah, think, obviously. And I was very involved, like in I was like an altar boy until I was fucking like eight or eight eighth grade, like into high school a little bit. I was an all star altar boy. It's the MVP. I got called for the big masses. So they brought me back a few times. <laughs> no, no, no. After I retired, they brought me back a couple okay. times. <laughs> and he's back. Perkins <laughs> in the starting lineup. <laughs> Oh, that left altar boy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't remember how we got uh, on this, but we. Oh, I just made a stupid joke about rather having Jesus. That's how we got on this topic. Yeah, yeah. And we listened right. to the album, and now we're here. And now we're here. Yeah. Okay, but the typo. The typo. Oh, well, it's there's. It's pretty impressive that even ten people can read it and miss it, though. Yes, only one person should. It, I mean, like. No, like it took one person. It took yeah. one person. Right. Which means everyone that has picked this fucking album up has noticed that. To be fair, I mean, how many people have picked that album up? <laughs> I so <don't>... far, one. <laughs> Actually, in this room, only a third of the people have picked up this album. So, yeah. and only a third of the people wanted to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> or no, actually, maybe you, maybe you suggested that. I don't remember. I, think I, I don't think I did. <laughs> I think I was just joking. Yeah, you might have joked, and I was like, "No, it's on." And then that was often. I snapped back in my left altar boy days. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's sorry, yes, sorry. You were there. Um priest, yes, priest. Um and, Yeah, no, I don't really want to talk about this we have a yeah, lot of yeah. bullshit here that like <laughs> <laughs> We can put down I'd rather have Jesus. Yeah, that was yeah. fun though. Um yeah. I do I truthfully but speaking of typos and more grammatical errors, I have a run on sentence that I have a huge problem with in the first Sentence of this. You can't let any chapter thing six. Go. No, I really can't. My parents ruined me that way. I almost feel like you've been going through these books, like, <laughs> it out. just redlining everything. Just it it's sucks. It's wrong. wrong. No, 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 no. That's a pretty funny idea. Of, like a way that a person would spend their time. <laughs> it's just like, not enjoying or reading the book. Just purely criticizing the grammar behind it. But so, but this is clear. This is this is not this is not actually a run-on sentence. I think it's a run-on sentence, and so this is a much better topic of conversation than missing a fucking letter in a okay. word that completely yeah. changes the meaning of the word and the sentence entirely. Mm -hmm. This is just, I'll just read it and see, like, if you have any problems with it. Because, like, this is more so, like, a how people talk, like, Dari was talking about this last yeah. night, of, like, I hate when people Dari talk about it. Link will be below. Yeah. Um, uh, 
she was talking about how she hates when, like, especially in serious music, mm -hmm. again, there's a huge problem with how, like, this music's even talked about, is that, like, people will, like, just make shit up. It'd be like a tritone, like, I think you use the example, like, a tritone, like, equals religious tension, or like, right, right, right. whatever the fuck you want to, like, say that it does, when it really doesn't, you're yeah. just making it that. Mm -hmm. And then, but you're not acknowledging that you just made it that, you're, like, saying that it is. Yeah, you're appealing to, like, nature or something. Yeah, you like, you... Music going on right now? I am, I am. So sounds and silences. Link, link will be below the words. Okay. Wait, okay. is there a link? <laughs> you, can't just, you can't just say that. It was recorded at the Cambridge School. <laughs> Get full credit and rights to it, just uh, um, you're not stealing? Yeah, I don't Copyright's a whole other discussion. Um, yeah. Which, anyway, so... Actually, I'll, there is a copyright discussion I'd be interested in having later. In, in, uh, yeah, yeah I, no, I am too. And, but... In order, so here's here's how chapter six notation starts in this definitely like not like beginner if you've never written for orchestra this book. Well, you probably could figure out a lot of stuff, but I think this book presumes that you know a lot of shit already. So, for example, the chapters are chapter one, the orchestra; chapter two, orchestral instruments, ranges, and notation; chapter three. Pretty basic. Chapter three, orchestral instruments and technicalities. A little less basic, but it is basic if you're going to write for orchestra. Transposition and, and the C clef, also very important, but not easy. The orchestral score, probably super, or is super important and probably super misunderstood. That's just my guess, but. Um, and then chapter six, notation. notation. So we've learned a lot so far. <laughs> In order to bring to life the music of both the past and present, the vagaries of musical notation in the literature as it has been left to us must be understood by all performers. Period. I disagree. You disagree that it's a run-on? Well, no, I oh, disagree. Oh, you disagree with the sentence. sentence. Yeah. No, I, think it's a, I don't think it's a run-on. I totally like that. I, Let me go again. Let, it's a... It's got a lot of that's the problem. I don't think it's actually a run-up. I think, I think, I think it's just it has a horrible a, written written sentence. sentence structure. With, yeah, maybe. Um, in or, especially a horrible sentence to start a chapter. It's like it tries to much. give way too much. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, you, also, you want to read it again or do you want to? I actually, I'm, at this point, I don't really care. <laughs> because, <laughs> like, if you're going to like talk about... There's a the difference Super between... Like, <laughs> No, but like in terms of like, to me though, that's like thing. textbook writing and all that, like you write for different audiences in different ways. You talk about like hedging or like trying to like build suspense yeah. in some sort of way. That's how you write a first pair, first sentence of a textbook. Mm -hmm. That's I'm not fair. trying to like. Uh, that's fair. I'm not yeah. trying to change the world and like, oh shit, I'm so captured by this textbook. It's like no, like you read this and you move on to the next. You have thing. to be careful not to give too things, much opinion. Gives too much opinion or to mislead, and so the those yeah. those little like side statements are are, are not actually necessary. The the, uh, the nuances of what it's saying. Like you have to like know your audience and like who you're like you're also you're speaking to like young Someone people who like not, doesn't, not, know. doesn't know. Yeah. And so okay. I'm like gonna try and like build something to just like show you these points. Yeah. I also think the and person who wrote it is wrong. Okay, well, I, I, yeah, I'm super interested in that, so let me read the sentence again. In order, because I don't know how, I couldn't even process the sentence because I hated reading it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. In order to bring, which is another thing, and this is also written in the 60s. Yeah, so that's also another the page, thing. like the cover is an ugly color. It's like, it's not easy to read a book. Do you want to like pick that. that book up? I, I wanted to, because usually when you see a book that's this boring, it's probably talking about some cool shit, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> if it looks like shit's gonna be dope. If it looks boring, there's a reason they were okay making it boring because they're like, if you really want to read the book, you can read the book. You're not buying it for the cover. Um, don't judge a book by its cover. That's that's another lesson. What? Anyways. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You can't have 30 lessons involved, and you haven't even read, you read the sentence once. That's what I'm saying, books are dope. You, you don't you even get the table of contents, though, so we know what comes before it in the book. You don't know what comes after yet, though, because we haven't got I don't want to, I think, I think reading the book. So anyways, to address, to, to, address the validity, to address the validity, to address the validity of this statement, in order to bring to life the music of both past and present, what the fuck does that mean? Just make music 
make music well in order to like do a good performance. Yeah. In both the past and the present. No, no, music of the past and the present. New and old. Of music. both. The, yeah. Okay. To bring to life the music of both the past and present. Sorry. Um, the vagaries, which are like the boringness. What does vagary mean? Like, like things you don't quite know, no, 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 like, uh, oh, it's vague, like non-defined things. Okay, the vagaries of musical notation. There are a lot of vagaries of musical notation. I would say all of it is vagary. Yeah, well, that's a word. Ish. Yeah. Anyways, of musical notation. How do you play a slur? Okay. <laughs> Where is Malcolm Dill? Uh, all right. Um, his link will not be below because he's an asshole. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, great piano player, but oh, okay, okay. Let's keep going with this <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna start over. In order to bring to life the music of both the past and present, the vagaries of musical notation in the literature as it has been left to us. Uh huh. Don't. That's that is. I think that is important actually, though, because you have a lot of like ur text. You have like you have. There's different like authority of scores that have been passed down. Right, so so the musical notation, like as the body it's been left work, to you, what we have the now. body of the work as it's been left to us, which is maybe all you need to say, yeah. must be understood by all performers. I'm okay with that sentence. Don't which agree. Is, say, the, okay. the entire body does not need to be understood by all performers. I don't understand the entire body and that's all the vagaries. Great, that's great, that's a great point. It's such a bold. It's such a like. He doesn't even understand. That, that presumes that he <laughs> understands yeah. it, and he definitely no one does. That honestly is like trying to talk about like some of my issues that I have with like academia. Academia, like yeah. art, music, all that stuff is like so much of a you need to know about the shit in order to do it. Like you can just make music. You can just make art. You can just make anything. Yeah, and it's it's made. It is true. Like it's out there. Yeah, you, can't you can't tell me it's not. It. You, you can't, can't tell me it's not a thing. It. Like if I play something on piano, like that's a song. They fucking you may not like, like it. But yeah, but like you don't need to know. Like I don't know, like classical like music theory or like anything like that, or like know a whole lot about like classical like all about art history and all that shit. But I can still like or do have an know? opinion on art or know about yeah, music yeah, or yeah. create that and like do that. Of course, because mm -hmm. music, making music isn't about knowing history. Yeah, and there, there, there is a huge emphasis on that, especially when it comes to like academia and like. I mean, it's helpful. Yeah. And that's where I, that's where I come to is like, it is not only is it. But helpful, it's not the end all be all. It's not the end all be all. Absolutely, I thought it used to be. Like I thought you needed to know. You need to know the Beatles to be able to be a songwriter. You yeah, exactly, exactly. But you definitely don't. You, you definitely don't. don't do but not. if you do, there are a lot. but I'll tell you no. what. I'll tell you what happens when you do understand the Beatles. You understand that the Beatles understood Bach. You understood that they understood Beethoven. You understand that they. Un you you get an understanding that they knew that they did their homework, and sure. that's what and that's what studying the history of music does, and that's why people stick around through music history. Is you're like, all right, they put in the time. Sure. They, they that's worked what's out also their... beautiful about like punk music <coughs> and like Pussy Riot and stuff like we were talking about because also like they put in the work to. Yeah. Well, yeah. But they put in different work though. Right. Like that's they put they, they still put in work. Pussy Riot puts in work. Yeah. They just don't practice their scales. Right. You know yeah, what exactly. I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. Like so. There's different ways of putting in work. Yeah. yeah of course. So I think yeah, and regardless, you got to put in work if you want to do anything yeah, substantial. One hundred percent. But I think there are different types of work that you can put into that. Like you don't have to read way more than others. You don't have to read fucking Rauscher's book on orchestration to write yeah. a symphony. Okay. No. Like. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. Did you think I was saying otherwise? Or? No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't. No. <laughs> it, it's funny to like talk so much about a book and then be like, and you don't need it. And you <laughs> buy. Brad, Bradbury, you were wrong. Let's burn them all. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> but books. Am I right? Yeah. But um. To someone that could be. Also, there's, like, there's you did, some like, I swear I didn't do this, but there's some in there. a weird way you learned a lot about this book without even like uh -oh. needing it. What? There's some typos in here. It's oh, wow. the bottom. I was mad about that apparently. <laughs> Such as those pages on triple zero and triple zero. That's definitely a typo. Yeah. That's a weird typo. That's. A, I'm not even. I don't even know if I'm mad about that typo. How does that typo happen? That One of those that you like don't know what it's gonna be, and you're like gonna go back and like edit it later. Yeah. And you just forget about it. So that would be like a like an editor or copier. 
Which still should yeah, you're right because you right don't here. know how many pages are going to be there based on the type of print. Which still so shouldn't you, like, go happen. Back and put that in later. Which still shouldn't happen, but I'm strangely not upset about that typo. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> You've been harping on every single I know potential run-on sentence, and <laughs> I don't know why that typo doesn't bother a, me. A word or not, or a letter. I or think not. because that's truthfully the editor's fault. It's not yeah. the it's not the writer's fault. But you know what's funny? Why are you not mad about an editor making? A Mistake. But you, because that's the their job. I'm I paying know. them to do that job. <laughs> like if you, fu if you miss a letter, letter on my shit, yeah, and yeah. I paid you. Fuck off. Yeah, you shouldn't like, hire. No, no, no. One hundred percent. You shouldn't hire this person anymore. But I will argue that it, if you're gonna put your fucking name on it, yeah, you better make sure it's, it's that the editor yeah. did his job and it, that you're gonna make yeah, sure it, you hire him again or fire him. It her, feels or worse. It, yeah. It, um, you lose more confidence if you feel like it's the author's fault. Yes. Yes. 100%. Versus if you feel like it's in it, like like if you get a part that's bad and it's just like the copier, nobody's mad at the, the music. Yeah, you're, you're just like, like, oh, this part is terrible. <laughs> I can't even read it. And you're like, well, yeah, because it clearly got eaten by the copy machine. Right. Yeah. Hmm. That's probably why, I guess. That's weird. That's really interesting. That's fucking weird. Like, because like errors in the content compromise the content, the compromise the integrity of the content itself, and so yeah. you start to distrust. And you like put holes in it, and you're like, "Well, you messed this up. Did you like mess this up? Yeah. Like, did you but, do that cool thing intentionally, or was that just an accident too? Like, but it's still like kind of really shitty that like that's like the expectation like held upon you that like the editor didn't do his job, and like now all again, of a sudden the artist is like put. Or the writer or whatever, like is put at like a lower. You gotta open the book to find the editor's name. You don't have to open the book to find your name. Yeah. And that's how I feel about it. And like, so it's it's ultimately your responsibility to make sure but that that doesn't happen. But I totally understand not finding that. So because you probably had three emails to the editor, like, did you put those numbers in? Did you put those numbers in? And then he didn't. And well, if you did that, you would have checked. But what if I don't you? Know. You write a book and you're not confident, and so on the cover you put edited by and you don't put your name. <laughs> what kind of a move is that? <laughs> I think it's a chicken shit move. Yeah, but I'm, like you do have to just stand full. You're you're you're, you're like on the third page. <laughs> <laughs> also, that, wait, actually, it is by this is, person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, it's like a footnote, like on page sixty-seven. It's a no footnote of the editor. Yeah. Edited by with an asterisk, and then the asterisk says actually written. By. Actually written I guess by. that's like when you're writing stuff that you're like scared. Yeah. You're writing like some like hateful. Well, what about what about putting a pseudonym on something? Yeah. Like what's the what's the deal with that? I mean, is there? <laughs> what's up? Yeah. What's what the deal with like, pseudonyms? <laughs> I mean, am I right? No one likes them. <laughs> no one likes them. <laughs> am I right? Uh, yeah. oh, no, I good. mean, that's just, there's so many reasons to do that. Like, that's just like having a band name. Like, why doesn't it just the, True, because, like, everyone's well, name okay. of the band project, but okay. like, it's not so that, no, like, but let's, have a, like, a, a name. Well, like, what about someone like Dead Mouse, for yeah. example, where you truthfully hide your identity? Yeah. And create this an is a actual fucking coward. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know, man. Why else would you? I mean, it's a. I it's mean, a you unique, have a mouse hat on. That's it's a unique like, branding. Yeah. Stand. His branding is fuck. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's cowardice at all. I was just kidding. And I, really, <laughs> I really don't. I really don't think it's cowardice. You think about it. I'm like, because, oh, like, like, you look at like marshmallow as well. Like same type of fucking thing. Like there are a ton of artists that do that. It just is like a lot of Kiss people like it. do an ode to like. Mark Twain and like have a pseudonym for their like writing like it's not like he could have written under Samuel Clemens a hundred percent like what like limited him from not going under that name he's a white male in the 19 or 18 like what 60 a, 70s yeah. all that shit like there's nothing that made this is like hey you need to so thanks for watching as always if you liked it please subscribe to this YouTube channel please leave a comment please check out my links below to my other social media outlets and if you like my content generally, please consider visiting my Patreon page. Alright, see you next time.